hello everyone thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or they have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button a lot of women are out there and waiting and praying that god should bless their womb some of them eventually they get the blessings from god but unfortunately some of them are faced with a tragedy of a long time or forever not having a child in this situation guys this is going to hurt a lot of people it will put you in a very difficult pain and misery for this woman this beautiful nigerian lady known as mrs gloria has been waiting for a child for the past 10 years and all thanks to almighty god god blessed this lady as you can see that the pregnancy she was carrying sets of twins but something started going wrong the sister is the one now giving us the information as to what really happened to her pregnant sister her sister's name is nancy she said that her elder sister Gloria developed certain complications and God helped her. She successfully gave birth to her set of twins and she gave birth to these babies on Thursday, December 23rd, 2021. But after the delivery of her babies successfully, she started having more complications and the doctors tried to see how they can help this lady to stay alive and be strong for her newborn babies friends unfortunately this mother after having her children friends the unfortunate thing happened this is a woman who has been waiting for the past 10 years and god finally blessed her with set of twins after the delivery in the end this woman never lived to carry her own children unfortunately exactly on christmas day she passed away isn't this so sad look at a woman who has been struggling going in for prayers and asking god to bless her she was finally blessed with set of twins and in the end this woman did not leave to carry her own children this was the exact explanation that her sister nancy gave to us she said this i am lost of words my darling sister sis g i fondly call her my paddy my gist partner my personal person where do i start from egbomi my world is broken how do i cope with your demise egbomi the first day you woke me up and told me you were pregnant sleep left my eyes i cried cried thank god held your hands and we prayed together she further went on explaining and said this gee why did you now leave me with the twins god blessed you with and you just gave up the ghost after 10 years of waiting we talked about the preparations we were ready for their birth bought drinks and all all ready for the d-day gee we did not talk like this how do i cope with taking care of the twins i held you on thursday night and said congratulations i left saw you in the ambulance struggling for your life since not knowing it was my last and you died on christmas day a day i would not forget in my life i made sure your pregnancy journey was smooth you did nothing but rested more sis why we had plants plenty plants on your journey to motherhood and death took you away from me how do i cope with your demise sis gloria your counseling helped me in so many ways you were always there for me anytime i needed you where do i go from here seas of life eight years of living with you i learned a lot from your marriage from you how you coordinated your home sis you were selfless you were kind to a fault you radiate anywhere you go you never had enemies you were a blessing to so many people you came across I don't know what else to write. I will not forget you. I will not forget yesterday. Rest well, sis. This 
was the words that the sister had penned down. It's so touching and heartbreaking. Look at after all the struggles, and yet, in the end, this lady did not leave to carry her own children. A lot of people have gone to their Facebook page to pay tribute to her. It's so heartbreaking and devastating at the same time. The newly born twins, thank God they are healthy and they are alive, will only get to know their mother when they are grown and it's through pictures that they will be shown. It's not a good thing at all. Look at a lot of women are out there crying that God should bless them. They are still waiting and we pray that God will bless them and let them live to see their children. But this is so painful. Imagine what this woman must have gone through while she was alive, waiting on God for 10 years. And eventually she got children, not just one, but two. But she didn't live to carry her children. Someone wrote this on her Facebook page. My friend, my friend, you were a rare gift full of life and love right from our days working together in fss department welfare team the fountain of life church headquarters in lupeju nigeria we got married the same year and same month you waited for 10 years and just when you were about to celebrate the arrival of your twin girls after the waiting period death took you away on christmas day i know death didn't win you won the victory you are in a better place where there is no hustling and bustling, where there is so much joy and eternal life. This is heaven's gain and earth loss. One thing is sure, you are in a better place with your father. Keep resting till we meet to part no more. You will forever remain in our hearts, my darling Gloria Chaka. We pray that the soul of Gloria Chaka rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console her newborn twins who has just come into the world and they don't know anything. May Almighty God console her sister, her entire family members, her husband, well wishers, everyone that knew her. May God console them all. A lot of family members and friends are so heartbroken because no one expected to hear that Gloria who will be celebrating is now a dead person. This thing, death doesn't know any boundaries. It will just come and sweep people away. Once again, may the soul of Gloria Chaka rest in peace with the Lord. It's a heartbreaking moment. Her husband is so devastated. The sister, her family members are so devastated. They thought it would be a celebration for them. After all the arrangements, the deed, knowing that, oh, the babies were born on the 23rd, just a day to Christmas. And in the end, they didn't leave to watch their mothers take care of them. It's so sad and painful. Once again, may God console her family. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. We pray for all the pregnant women that God will grant them safe delivery, that they would come out of the delivery room and carry their own children. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.